electricity. In making this bill an act, the lack of jurisdiction of family courts in Himachal Pradesh and Nagaland will be solved. Mention may be made that in the year 2008, the state government of Nagaland established two family courts in the district of Kohima and Dimapur. Similarly, the state government of Himachal established three family courts in 2019 in the districts of Shimla, Dharamshala and Mandi. However, in both cases, they are yet to be brought into force by the central government with notification in the official gazette as prescribed under Section 1, Part 3 of the Family Courts Act 1984. The whole underlying point of the bill is to give legal authority to the family courts which have so far been functioning without any authorization as such. Honorable Deputy Chairman, I would like to place on record my appreciation to the Honorable Union Minister for Law and Justice for stating that he would request state governments to set up family courts in every district. This is a welcome move for a tribal like me hailing from Nagaland. I strongly support this particular amendment bill as I believe this will cater to the needs of the affected people and parties while being sensitive to tribal dynamics too. And I thank our government, led by Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji, for this initiative. With 715 family courts and pending cases of 11,49,907 in the country, there has never been a more opportune time to pass this amendment bill. While the family courts in Nagaland will be validated with effect from September 2008, the family courts in Himachal Pradesh will be validated from February 2019. Here again, I'd like to express my profound gratitude to Honorable Union Minister Sri Kiran Rijijuji for discussing the issue of family courts in the recently concluded district judges conference here in Delhi and not forgetting the problems of children while their families are engaged with family courts. This shows the intent of the government to ensure justice. Sir, by 2030, Nagaland aims to establish family courts in each district, and therefore passing this amendment bill will serve and will be of great help in the coming days. Once again, to God Honorable Union Minister Sri Kiran Rijujuji, the passage of this particular amendment bill will help in providing statutory provision to existing family courts in Himachal and Nagaland. Family courts will be more effective under legal cover and family courts will no longer have to undergo legal scrutiny. I would like to conclude by humbly requesting respected members of this August House to let justice see the light of day. It is only fair that we fulfill our part. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mani Sadasaka, please, please. Mani Sadasaka, point of order ke baare mein ma situation rules clear kar chuka hu again. जो 5821 को रूलिंग हमने दी थी पुनः मैं क्लियर करता हूं क्योंकि अब इशू आपने पुनः आज उठाया एक माननीय सदस्य ने कहा उसी संदर्भ में आई वुड लाइक टू मेंशन दैट फ्रीडम ऑफ स्पीच अंडर आर्टिकल 105 इज सब्जेक्ट टू द रूल्स ऑफ प्रोसीजर एंड कंडक्ट ऑफ बिजनेस ऑफ द हाउस देयरफॉर रूल 110 ऑफ द रूल्स ऑफ प्रोसीजर एंड कंडक्ट ऑफ बिजनेस इन राज्यसभा लिमिटिंग द स्कोप ऑफ द डिस्कशन इज वैलिड प्लीज मान मान